In today's video, we are going to take a virtual tour of Michael Blackson's East Lagos residence, which he acquired recently in Accra, Ghana. Hi, my name is Fifi. I'm a real estate enthusiast. My aim with this channel is to be a go-to resource for existing homeowners, potential homeowners, um, and other enthusiasts just like me. So, if my interests align with yours, consider subscribing to this channel. Michael seems to be having a lot of fun in Ghana. He's been in and out of the country several times in the last few months. From interviews to parties, Michael's presence has been felt in almost every corner of the city. According to him, his main reason for being back home is the school he's putting up for the children in his hometown. Room, classroom, classroom, library, doo-doo room, let's go poop. Yeah. Alright? All your little friends are gonna have a school to go to. What do you think you should name the school? Leave your comment below. Despite asserting that houses in Ghana cost more than those in Atlanta, Michael has acquired one heavy mansion in one of Ghana's affluent neighborhoods. So, why East Legon? A lot of expats and some Ghanaians tend to like East Legon because the neighborhood is properly planned, road network, and other social amenities are on point. And above all, the airport is just about 15 to 20 minutes drive away, making it favorable for frequent travelers. If you want to know more about East Lego and why the area is more expensive, kindly check out Doc Simon's channel. I'll put the link in the description. This house is reported to have been on the market for just one week when Michael found it. The deal was closed by no other than Mr. August Neria known popularly in the industry as Gas Cameo of Cameo One Homes. Hey Marasaga, I'm here with the number one real estate agent in the world. In the world, man. And of course. Gas Cameo is a Ghanaian luxury real estate broker who has close record-breaking deals with a recent sale of $3.5 million property somewhere in Accra, known as The Plantation. Now let's get into the video. Before we begin this video, I'd like to draw your attention to the fact that this video may seem a little fast-paced. That is because it wasn't shot for this purpose. I took this video while it was trending and repurposed it. And I'd like to see a big shout out to Dan Wonders, the guy who originally shot this. From the entrance, we are greeted with a tiled compound with slates of lawn in between. According to experts, this is a good idea because it prevents large volumes of water from running off into the street, especially when it rains or Michael decides to wash his car. On your left is a pool area which we will be getting back to later in the video and on your right is a carport that can hold about two cars. You cannot help but notice the massive floor to ceiling glass entrance letting in a ton of natural light into the living area. I do hope the drips are automated though. The giant glass entrance leaves your eyes up the stunning lighting fixture dangling above the living area. The glass partition separating the living area from the kitchen is a great idea. Nothing screams luxury than a kitchen with dark and light contrasting tones. Also fitted are top-of-the-range appliances from various brands. The 8-seater dining table did not miss the incredible lighting fixture we saw above the living area. Guys, that's all for the ground floor. Let's head upstairs. The primary bedroom has a Juliet balcony which overlooks the compound and also offers a great view of the neighborhood. The primary bathroom has both a bathtub and a walk-in shower with a flat screen head. Guys, I don't know if it is just me, but I hate bathtubs. 
I don't get why someone would have to sit down to take a bath. That idea is just, ah, uh, it's just alien to me. The swimming pool has a jacuzzi. One Juliet balcony also overlooks the pool and right under the balcony is a space which can be converted into a gym. So you can jump into the pool right after working out. I would actually love to see this property at night. Alright guys, so I'm sure you are wondering how much Michael put down on this house. Well, the official price tag was not released. However, D Black, who is a close friend to the American comedian, told Zion Felix in an interview that it cost him a little over $500,000. Also, D Black shot the photo for his recent album cover art in this house. Also, another fun fact is that the developer who built this house is the same company that built Medical's new house, which we will be touring in our subsequent videos. Alright guys, that will be it for today. Thank you for watching. Unfortunately, we couldn't tour the house in entirety because it is now a private property and then we would like to respect it. However, if a chance comes for us to go there, yeah, I'll bring you that video. For now, thank you for watching and watch out for other videos as well. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video to other people. We out.